Um, so I'll begin by today by just talking a little about CG Scholar. Um, you can get to CG Scholar in a variety of ways. We've, if you read, I mean, you're obviously registered for the conference. Um, you can do it by um, following the link um, in the emails that we've sent about registering. You can also get there from um, the conference website. Um, you've probably all already seen CG Scholar, the login page. If I was not logged in, um, it would say there would be a little login up here in the right hand corner, but because I am today, I'll just click here and go straight to my profile. So this is the hub for who you are in CG Scholar. Um, when you log in, you usually get taken straight to this page. If for some reason you aren't, you can go, you can click on community or just click this sort of golden bar right here and it'll take you to everything that you can update. Um, so if you want to make any changes, you can update your account here. It's really useful to have, you know, your most recent uh, affiliation and your micro bio. Um, this is the information that gets carried through to the conference program. Um, and it sort of allows people when they click on your name in the event schedule um, to see who you are and a little bit about you. Um, so if you want to make any edits to that, you can do so here, you can update here. We have a, a variety of different ways that you can link to that and update here. Um, and so this is sort of your, your page that is about you, your discipline, um, your interests and your experience. Um, I recommend you update your affiliations and contact information. I've just written a little note here to remember to tell you that. Um, if you're ever lost, um, you can click in the knowledge base um, and you can get to the knowledge base, which is the link, it looks like this here, by just clicking, um, oops, get support here underneath your name, and that'll take you right there. So if you're ever lost and not sure quite what to do there, it's just simply under your name there. Um, if you can't find an answer in the knowledge base, um, we have, I'll say that we're looking up a conference question and we're looking at how to register. If you're ever lost, and you can't find the answer in our knowledge base, just click no, and that'll give you the option there to open a ticket. Um, from there, we can direct your question to um, anyone that needs, to the appropriate person, depending on the department and things like that. Um, I'll go back to your page. Um, so now what I want to do is show you the event area in CG Scholar, and there are a number of different ways that you can get to our uh, conference. The first way is to click on event here. And of course, my internet's going a little snowed now that I've got you all online. Um, and this is, um, oh, I'm going to admit someone into the room here. Um, this is a list of all the conferences that we're running. Um, the 11th International Conference on Instruction and Environment is the first one up here because that's the one that's starting today. Um, so I'll go ahead and click on that here. Another way you can get to that is by clicking down here underneath your name to your events, and it will go to all the I'll just wait for that to load. It will go to all the events that you're registered for or have a proposal for. Sorry. It will go there. <laughs> um, so this is giving me the option here to get extras, which is to sign up for special events and things like that. And you can see, I do not have a proposal. If I did, my proposal number would be just here. You can see my registration is paid there. And my this is my registration number. The documents here are pretty useful. So this is where I can download my receipt, but then also following the conference, that's where you can download your attendance certificate. Um, I am gonna click on the conference now here. So this is what we call the event microsite. Um, you can do everything here from manage your proposal, do your registration, uh, view other presentations. So I'll just go through this a little, little bit at a time. This is just sort of an overview page where we list the special focus this year. Um, and some other links there about our research network. This is where I would su submit a proposal. Um, if I had a proposal already, and you may do so, it, it will say manage proposal here. And that's where you'd be updating your digital media, um, making any changes, adding co-authors or anything like that. Um, I'm registered in, as an audience member because, and so then as an audience member, I'm not actually able to submit a proposal at this stage. Um, I'm, this is your registration, and so you can see that the balance is zero, you can see your registration from there. Now I want to focus on these next few tabs, they're pretty important for the upcoming conference. So this is presentations, and we have a number of different ways that you can view the presentations on the site. Um, these, are the, these are just some of them. So this is a featured presentation that we have 
um, from our 2019 General Award winner, winner um, and they will be presenting. So that's a featured presentation in this one. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about following in a minute when we look at the event schedule, but basically I'll, I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, we can also view by theme. So we have a number, number of different conference themes and these are the, the presentations that are underneath the social impacts theme. And if you scroll down, um, you'll see these are the ones under environmental impacts and so on. At the bottom, I believe is the special focus. There we go. Um, so if you wanna look at all of the ones that deal with social impacts, um, that's where you'd go. Type is by presentation type. So we have a number of different presentation types. Um, we have a paper presentation in a theme, se theme session, which is kind of a standard 20 minute presentation. For this, we're asking you to upload to digital media. Um, all themed paper presentations, all, all pa paper presentations in a themed session, um, I'll show you in the event schedule, are themed together. Um, in different blocks, about four or five papers. Um, they all rely on digital media and are asynchronous. There is no time for these. These are not live presentations. Um, we do this for a number of different reasons, but perhaps the most important reason is that we don't wanna favor a certain time zone and a certain group of people by um, doing them live. We've done a couple of conferences like, well, more than a couple of conferences like this now, and it seems to work really well. I'll show you a bit more about that in a minute. And then finally, this is alphabetically. So this is alphabetical in, in the paper presentations. And I think then it goes down, as you can see, there's a number of presentations here. Um, special events is where you can sign up um, for different sessions with different Zoom links. Um, we also have the Imagining Future speaker series. So I recommend you sign that up, sign up for that as well. It's an ongoing speaker series uh, throughout the, um, the year. Um, and this is where you can get a little bit more information about that by signing up. Now, perhaps the most important place I want to show you, which you should have already found, is the event schedule. So here we are in the online engagement session. This is the time. Um, what I'm going to click on here is the overview where, do, where you would have found the information about the session, as well as the Zoom link. Um, and here is the discussion board. So I'll just say, welcome to the conference. This is where you can upload comments in different sessions, um, as well as reply to other comments. We can see here that Ada's um, deleted a comment. You can delete your own comments. You can't delete other people's comments, obviously. Um, we ask them to keep the discussion courteous and productive. Um, this is just for this session now. Uh, to get back to the uh, to the event schedule, you can click on it just here in the last tab. Um, and let's look at the sessions for tomorrow. So tomorrow we'll have uploaded a welcome message from the conference chairs. That will be here. It'll be embedded video in this session. Oh, there it is. We can already see it. That's great. Um, so if you'd like to join a discussion about that welcome video or give a little bit of information about yourself and introduce yourself in there, that's a really nice place to do it. Um, from there, we have the conference opening. That's at 9 a.m. MST. Um, here we have a discussion board link to that one too. Most importantly, these sessions that are live Zoom sessions, they're all gonna be recorded. So I know a number of people might not be able to attend these sessions. Um, you have to give us a little bit of a turnaround, maybe 12 hours or so, so that we can get the video up. But it will. We, once the session has been completed, we will make a note that uh, the video will be uploaded shortly. Now I wanna show you one of these panels here. So as I mentioned before, the themed paper presentations are, are, are themed according to ideas. So these are four, one, two, three, four, five different presentations that all deal with the idea of urban insights. Now, if I'm interested in all five of these papers, what I can do, and I will do now, is show you by just following all five of these. Um, this might be my area of interest. This might be right up my alley. And I want to keep an eye on those presentations during the conference. So if I don't want to search through the event schedule and I want to keep coming back to those, the best way to do it is by following them and then clicking on presentations and then clicking the follow tab here. And you can see that these are these are those five presentations that I just chose to follow there. Um, one thing I also want to mention is that from here, you can click on 
Is it going to load? Yes, you can click on the title of the presentation you're interested in and it will bring up the abstract as well as some information about the author as well as the digital media upload there. If I'm interested in this author and her, him or her and their work, I can click on that author there and it will take me to their profile page. And I can add Anna as a peer here. Um, and then that means that I can contact her. Um, she, we can you know, discuss our work and just and collaborate further. I'm gonna go back now to the event schedule and to day two and back to Urban Insights because that's the one I'm really interested in. So Urban Insights here, if I, you click on that, you'll notice that this is a discussion board for the Urban Insights. Now this is, for all five of those presentations in that session. We have one joint discussion board because it's about collaboration and bringing ideas together. So we're really interested in linking these presentations and looking at the common thread between these presentations. So if we wanna discuss, we can see a link between uh, sustainable urban development in the Italian, in Italian national urban agenda and this one here by Jonathan Cha, then we can make a comment in the discussion that says, I really like the thread and how this presentation is linked together in this way. Um, and that's why we can just start a discussion in the discussion board here. We can see that Stefania, I'm going to click on this view digital media here. If the presenter has uploaded digital media, you can see it with just this little blue tab here. So I'm going to click on this one right here. And here we can see, oh, it has been, maybe we need to accept that one. We do have a, a period of time that we have to, we might have to review that one, Elizabeth, but just have a look at that one. Um, so let's click on this one. This is the one we were in before. So this is Anna's presentation. It's an MP4 file. So I can click on that and I won't, I won't play it because I think the sound's gonna come out. Um, but there you can see that I can view her presentation there. It opens up in a different tab. And then if I want to comment on that presentation, I can go to that discussion board and it will take me back to that urban insights discussion board, which is the group one uh, for that theme session. Um, we have a number of different types of digital media. I'm going to click on this next one here and let's see what um, this presentation. This presentation has an embedded video as well as a PDF. So there's multiple ways that these pres presenters have engaged in this session. If this, um, we can see here that this presentation uh, by Jonathan, he doesn't have a digital media button next to him. So what I can do here is click on that. And what I can do is request the media and he will receive a message that says someone has, someone has well, you have been requested to upload your digital media, meaning that someone's interested in, in your presentation and we'd like to hear more from you. Um, so that's a little bit more about that one. I'm trying to think of another one down here. Um, so these are the themed paper presentations. We've got them listed on the second day of the conference. We do have the workshops um, by themselves in a session by themselves. Um, and that way we have a discussion board associated with just this workshop here. I'll go back here. I'm trying to think if there's any more unusual sessions that I might want to show you how to engage in. Oh, I do. Um, so one thing we have on day two, which is tomorrow at 10.15 a.m. Mountain MST, uh, which is 11.15 a.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, we also have it on at 4.15 on Thursday is, I'm going to click on this here. This is a new thing we're trying for this conference. Um, a talking circle is an informal discussion uh, with other delegates at the conference. We generally introduce ourselves. We talk a little bit about um, who we are, what we're interested in. It's a good time to share a link to your presentation page where your digital media is, which would be, um, I'll just quickly show you here. It's a good time to share the link to this page. Um, so if, if someone wants to view your digital media, that's a good time to do it. Um, just go back. Or maybe it was here that I was. No, I wasn't, sorry about that. Now I've got too many tabs open. Um, in this one, we're experimenting with a new um, software that we're using. It's an online platform called Wonder. Um, I'd like, if you could, before the session tomorrow, if you're interested in joining, please watch the YouTube video that's embedded here in the session. Um, here's the access link. If you're not familiar with it, it's helpful um, just to, 
uh, it's pretty easy to pick up, but just so everyone feels comfortable before the session, um, that's tomorrow. Um, you can watch a little bit more about the platform Wonder there. Um, I'll go back to the event schedule. And then uh, that's the only unusual session that we have. We do have a session on Friday with our managing editor of books, Kerry Dixon, if you'd like to join her there, as well as the conference closing. Um, I'm trying to just take a look at my notes and see if there's anything that I have missed in telling you, but perhaps the easiest thing to do now would be to open it up for questions. I know I ran through a lot of things in a very short amount of time there. I'm gonna look at the chat um, 